here I have some interesting problems. First one, arrange the above compounds in the increasing order of their proton nm or delta value of hydrogen atom which has been mentioned here. Three compounds has been given. This one is aromatic, this is allylic proton, this one is aliphatic, there is no double bond here. Arrange them in the increasing order of their proton nm or delta value. Second one, this n-methyl imidazole. With this, I add two equivalent methyl iodide. What will be the product? Even if I add two equivalent, methylation takes place only on this nitrogen or this nitrogen, that is the second option. Both the nitrogens undergo methylation to give this product, that is third one. Fourth one, methylation takes place on this carbon and this carbon. Because of the resonance, you can find that here, this proton is acidic. So that undergoes methylation. So I have given four options. Which one is correct? If this compound is treated with metachloropyrpenzoic acid, what will be the product? First one, nitrogen gets oxidized to end oxide. Second one, epoxidation takes place in this double bond. Fourth one, epoxidation takes place in this double bond. Third one, it is hydroxylation. So because of this, electrophilic oxygen is attacked by this to get this compound. Which one is correct? The fourth problem, when this anthracene, which has methyl group here, is treated with benzene, it undergoes 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. What is the product? Which diene undergoes 4 plus 2 cycloaddition? The first option, this diene. In the second option, this diene undergoes 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. This diene is the third one. If it is anthracene, then we have we may get only two options. This and this will be identical. Now, since we have methyl, there are three different types of diene. The fourth option, it is mixture of products. We can't say the benzene may add here as well as here or here. We may get mixture of products. Which one is correct? Next one, I have given three compounds. The compound that can be readily oxidized by active manganese oxide and cannot be readily oxidized or respectively. In this, which one will be readily oxidized? Which one cannot be oxidized? So if it is oxidized, what we get is anti-aromatic. This is oxidized, we get non-aromatic. If this is oxidized, we'll get aromatic. Based on that, you have to print it. You may know that allylic alcohol can be oxidized by MnO2. Three compounds has been given here. Arrange the above compounds in the increasing order of their ability to analyze. Which one will undergo analyzation faster? So what will be the order of the rate of analyzation? Next problem. Arrange the above compounds in the decreasing order of their ability to undergo reduction. Which one will undergo reduction easily? that you have to predict. Arrange the following in the increasing order of the heat of hydrogenation. Some of you may know what is heat of hydrogenation. It is the heat released during hydrogenation. So which one, what will be the order of heat of hydrogenation? Here I have given a hint also. Heat of hydrogenation is inversely proportional to stability. So you may know which one is more stable based on the aromaticity. 
then you have to go for the uh, inverse one. The next problem, arrange the above compounds, bracket hydrogen, in the increasing order of their acidity. Sometimes it may be as pKa also. Acidity and pKa are inversely proportional. This hint I have given. So you have to arrange in the increasing order of their acidity. That will be decreasing order of pKa. Next problem. Arrange the above compounds in the increasing order of the reactivity towards Diels order reaction. Which one will react faster? Next one. Which of these compounds will give precipitate on heating with silver nitrate? I have given three bromides. First one cyclopropenyl bromide this cyclopropyl bromide this also cyclopropenyl but bromine is the double bond which one will give precipitate on heating with silver nitrate readily next one the compound that undergoes elimination readily is so I have given four compounds in this which one will undergo elimination readily